white flag is out in the 31. Does the crisscross zigzag, lapped automobile in front of the leader. A scramble, the dust comes up, but it's still the 31. Noah Connor, here comes to the outside, Di Matteo Matt. Three wide as they come back to the line. Drag race. And we will wait and see, judging by our scoring, as that was a photo finish. Yeah, I knew when we got to the lap cars, it was going to shake things up a little bit. Just tried to stay behind Noah there. He definitely had the race won, but I don't know. Someone spun out in front of him. It looked like there, and then I got caught on the outside, so I just said, screw it. I didn't even know it was one to go, to be honest with you. I was just trying to get around him on the outside. And I look up, coming down the front stretch, and checkers are out. And I hope, I didn't know if I got him or what, but. Coming off turn number four, Tyler Trott is there. White flag is out, final time by. And it will be a drag race for the final lap. Refrano, car number 48, holding off Trott. Here comes Tyler Trott as he tries to torpedo his way into the lead as they head into turn three. They are side by side and wheel to wheel. Tyler Trott inches his way to the front of the class. Marcello Refrano drifts back just a bit. Here comes Trace Beyer at the line. It'll be Tyler Trott to take down the win. Trace Fire unofficially in second. Marcello Rafano, great run for the rookie to finish in third. Um, honestly, I didn't think I had anything for the 48. Uh, he ran a good race, he kept his nose out of trouble, and uh, I started reeling him in towards the end, and he started getting a little free, and I just made my move. David Aru looks for some daylight to the inside of Austin Bissett. Doesn't happen in turn one. Will it happen there? No. What about turn two? There is Fury in the fight for third. Bissett holding off David Arun. Here comes Justin Brin out of turn number four. Brin says, see you later to the rest of the field. Double checkers. Brin takes down the win. Kelsey Rotino for second. Austin Bissett for third. David Arut to finish in fourth, and Andrew Hayes for five. Thank you very much, and I gotta thank Rob Russell for the handling in this car. We worked hard on this car all week to get it ready for this feature, and it paid off. Here comes Tommy Fern, one more lap, separating him and another victory. No question about it, Fern has a car that is working, and the Serrett Ford Group the King Ward Bus Lines machine is looking for win number five. Ladies and gentlemen, off the turn. The checkered flag is out. Tom Fern takes down the win. Great run for Joshua Wood for second. And Michael Bennett, the comeback kid, to finish in third. Yeah, they said it was lap 10. We still got a long way to go here, so I just bided my time there and waited. And uh, Michael made the move on Josh there, and he got a little loose. I was able to get by him, but hey. One more time around, the most important lap in Peyton Henry's racing career. Down the back straightaway, kind of appropriate, red, white, and blue. All the colors of the 4th of July as Peyton Henry becomes the All-American kid to win the Extra D, Extra Mart, Extra Distance event. He will take down the impressive victory. Oh yeah, for sure, you know that Extra Distance always makes you work a little bit more, you know. Those early restarts there, I got Glenn on the outside there, and you know, I just I kept pushing up into him, so I gotta apologize for that. But, um, you know, just since, since the, the opening restart there, I just took the outside, and I won another one of these races here the same way, you know, taking the outside. So one of these days, I'll win one on the bottom, but. Uh... Down the back straightaway, Galco moves into the fracas as they come off turn number four. They thunder back to the line. They jingle, they jangle, they twitch, and it's Williams to take over the number one spot. Williams trying to clear the 99, he does. Here is Ronnie Williams. Third is a battle between Galco, trouble for Williams. He's on the grass. It is Rowan Pennick to take the lead. Pennick off turn number four. Galco, here comes Woody Pitcat. Checkered flag is out. Rowan Pennick takes down the win. Galco to finish in second, Woody Pitcat for third. It was a wild one out there tonight. Uh, got up to the front, running third, and uh, Cipriano and Priest were running side by side. Uh, seemed like we had uh, the better car, but it's tough to do anything side by side, and they uh, contacted each other, and I was able to inherit the lead and barely hold on for the win there against the 59.